Hey, it's Mike, the PR guy with Carlisle Events and CETV. The Carlisle Truck Nationals are coming up August 4th through the 6th. And this year, the show has gone to the dogs, kind of literally. This dog here is Libre, and he is a very special pup, and we'll talk a little bit about him in just a moment. The lady behind him that just got a, a big mouthful of kisses, her name is Janine Guido, and she runs this really cool and special place, Speranza Animal Rescue. So first of all, Janine, talk about Speranza. What do you guys do here in central Pennsylvania? Um, we very much so are a rehab, uh, rehabilitation center. Um, you know, we take in the dogs that nobody else will. Um, a lot of strays, uh, a lot of dogs with behavioral issues. Um, we are primarily a pit bull rescue, just because those are the ones that nobody else really gives a chance to. So. And the dog that you're holding here, Libre, he just seems like such a happy pup, but things were a lot different uh, a year plus ago for you. Talk about what happened with him and, and how he came into your life. Um, Lily was rescued July 4th last year. Um, I had gotten a phone call from an animal control officer uh, regarding a puppy that was left to die in a pen. Um, you know, she got him out of there with the help of Dexton, uh, a produce driver that originally found him made his way to the Lancaster ER vet. Um, I met him there, you know, on the car ride to the Lancaster ER. The vet had called me and suggested euthanasia. Um, obviously, I said no. And um, the next day, I took him to Dr. Pryor at Dillsburg Veterinary Center. And then 30 days from the day he arrived there, he actually left and came home with me. So, long story short. And, and the dog, he, if you saw this dog today, you probably wouldn't think anything of it. But talk about his condition when, when he was found. I mean, how bad was he that a vet would suggest putting him down? Um, when he arrived at the ER vet, he was seven pounds uh, at four months old. He was in and out of consciousness, barely breathing. He was limp. He was cold. Uh, he actually had maggots coming out of all his skin folds. You know, he, he was septic and septic shock from all the infection. And he had pus, and it was, it was just unreal. So he was definitely the top three worst cases she, the vet had ever seen. Um, and she said the other two didn't make it. Um, she said he needed a miracle, and we got one, so. He really is a miracle yeah. pup. And, and you've been in the Central Pennsylvania Mechanicsburg location for some time, but would you say that the work that you've done with Libre really put your facility on the map? Oh my God, absolutely. Um, we're so blessed, you know, to have Libre for many reasons, you know. It's not just help the PA state, you know, with uh, animal cruelty laws. Um, he brought so much awareness to the other 50 pups that we have here. Um, so we're very, very blessed. And recently, uh, Governor Tom Wolf passed some legislation for stricter rules and laws against um, you know, pet owners, things like that. Explain what that happened. Libre's law. Please talk about that. Um, Libre's law is the toughest law, and I should know this stuff, but I really don't know a lot about it. Um, I know it's like the anti-tethering bill and everything. Um, it's pretty much so you can charge um, <laughs> uh, animal abusers with the felony in the state of PA now. Um, so yeah, it's very exciting. If someone can't come to check out what you guys are doing at the event, how can they help you out here at your at your business in Mechanicsburg? Um, they can definitely. We can always use volunteers to help socialize and walk the dogs. Um, you know, donators, fosters, um, just sharing. You know about Speranza. Um, anything's a help. So. And they're located at 1216 Brant Road in Mechanicsburg. It's not too far outside of Carlisle, uh, officially a Mechanicsburg address, but in a little town called Churchtown. And the coolest thing is when we have you guys coming to the Carlisle Truck Nationals, we're going to partner you with Lawrence Frederick and the Disconnected Canines, and it's going to be a great opportunity to raise awareness for rescue, for rehabilitation, and even more than that for you guys, you're going to be set up taking donations and even have some pups out maybe for adoption, correct? Correct. And very cool. And, and Pepsi is going to be involved. So if you make a donation of any kind, whether it's uh, monetary or supplies, and I suspect if you adopt an animal as well, you'll get a voucher for a beverage at the ground. So I, I think that it's just an awesome cause, and the dog just looks so amazingly healthy and happy. Do you have any comments, Libre? Yep, he's a happy dog. We're going to get him out of the heat, but we're going to go to the play area and check in with some other pups that have, have really made dramatic turnarounds at Speranza, and uh, we'll be checking back in with them in just a moment. We've moved to the animal play area here at Speranza, and Janine has brought out uh, Griffin, who has decided to leave the, the, the shot here. But um, talk about Griffin. He is going to actually be a dog that's going to come to the Truck Nationals and be available for adoption, correct? Correct. Uh, Griffin is approximately seven or eight years old. Uh, he's an American Bulldog mix. He was found as a stray in Georgia a year and a half ago, actually completely paralyzed in his hind end. Um, today, he is running and jumping and hiking and swimming and 
perfectly healthy and happy. So, A dog like this, and I know you try and match animals with families that would fit too. What kind of family would be a good fit for Griffin? Um, Griffin needs a home with no cats, but he is wonderful with other dogs, preferably a female dog. Um, loves kids, so that would be in a fenced in yard so he can run around and be active. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, that is Griffin. He's just one of a handful of dogs that are going to come to Carlisle. And we've got even more pups to showcase uh, here in just a moment. We have yet another dog to showcase from Speranza and uh, another spokesperson from Speranza. This is Cindy White. She is the celebrity dog walker, uh, I mean, volunteer dog walker. <laughs> and I did that on purpose. She's actually been the one that helped set this up for us. And uh, somewhere around here is Nick the dog. Um, Nick is, is definitely full of life and, and happiness. And what, what is Nick's story? Let's talk about Nick. Um, Nick's about five years old and he was a s owner surrender, turned into the Philly shelter. Um, and Christmas Eve, Janine went and rescued him and brought him here. And uh, he loves kids. Um, he would need to be an only pet, but um, he's a happy boy. And, and Nick, um, so he was a surrender. He's come here, and he will be one of the dogs coming to Carlisle as well as part of the Truck Nationals, correct? Yes, he will. Yes. All right, so if you're looking for an animal that, that will love you, will, will be loyal, you know, Nick's probably a good dog for that kind of deal, and he seems friendly. He seems like a happy dog. And uh, Daniela, the uh, the intern, has has thrown a toy here for Nick. And there's Nick. Do you have any comments, please? Nick's just checking out the toy. But this is this is Nick. And uh, it, it, you know, not every dog is like Libre that is so malnourished and, and on death's door. Um, many of them are, are surrenders, like Nick. But it doesn't mean that he doesn't need a home any more than Libre needed a home and, and love. Correct. Correct. So we have one more animal that we'll showcase before. We wrap up here from Speranza. Um, we've seen Nick, we've seen uh, Griffin, we've seen Libre, we've seen Cindy, we've seen Janine, and uh, we'll see what we have coming up next. But they'll all be coming to Carlisle as part of the Truck Nationals, August 4th through the 6th. Yep. The last dog to come out of the facility and yet another pup that's going to be adoptable at the Carlisle Truck Nationals is this girl, Skittles. Cindy, talk about Skittles. What's her story? Uh, Skittles is about seven or eight, and she was found tied to the back of a building in Harrisburg. So Janine brought her here, and she loves kids. She loves dogs, big and small, and but she's not a big fan of cats. So if you're going to adopt Skittles, what kind of house, maybe yard size, should one have uh, if, if Skittles is going home with you? Definitely at least a small yard. Uh, she loves to go walking. Uh, she loves the water, obviously. Um, and she likes, just likes being with people. Giving a great life, that's what she needs. Well, you can adopt Skittles, you can adopt Griffin, you can adopt Nick and a handful of other pups that Speranza will be bringing to the Carlisle Truck Nationals August 4th through the 6th. And you can visit them on the web. You can come by their booth at the event. You can give a donation, monetary. You can you just talk to the team, figure out how you can help and, and further this great cause. Again, they're located at 1216 Brant Road in Mechanicsburg. And Cindy, the website one more time. Um, it's Speranza.org. So check them out on the web, check them out at the show. And uh, one more segment coming up, we're gonna check in with our friends from X-Tang as we prepare for the Carlisle Truck Nationals. Hey, it's Mike the PR Guy with Carlisle Events and CETV making the rounds at the 2017 Carlisle Ford Nationals presented by Meguiar's. And we've made a stop in the X-Tang tent and we are with Steve Kelly with X-Tang. And Steve, let's talk about what X-Tang does. Uh, well, what can you guys provide to our guests here at Carlisle? Well, for all your truck owners, uh, and that's many of the Mustang owners that may have had a trailer, uh, we build uh, the America's best selection of truck bed covers. So we make every style pretty much that's available, whether they're soft covers, hard covers, they fold, they roll, they tilt, they snap. Uh, we've been in business for 35 years, and we make uh, pretty much most of the styles. We've either created them or uh, evolved them to perfection. So. Now, when someone comes to your tent, what can they find here, and what kind of service will you provide here at the event? Uh, great question. So uh, this weekend we're uh, we're showcasing our three folding covers. Uh, we have one soft folding cover, the Trifecta 2.0, which is a brand new introduction for us, and two hard folding covers. These are our most popular models. Uh, we've got a number of them here that we partnered with the uh, uh, the team here at A&A Auto Stores. They've got some uh, inventory on hand, or they can bring it the next day. We've sold quite a few today for the uh, A&A store, and we'll be installing them tomorrow. And for the trucks, if people want to get these put on the truck, I believe you said it earlier, but reiterate, what size truck? Is there any size truck too big or too small? Can these fit on anything? We make truck bed covers for nearly every single truck that's out there, even dating back to a 1960 Ford. 
All right, well, Xtang certainly has a lot to offer you. If someone wants to find you on the web, maybe they can't make the show today, how can they find Xtang on the web? Real simple, Xtang.com. That's E-X-T-A-N-G. Or give us a call during the week. Is there anything else you want to add about the product and what people can expect from you here in Carlisle? <laughs> well, we've got a lot of innovations in our products. Um, it's been quite a surprise today at the number of people that have really gravitated towards these. Uh, come on down, you get to speak with factory representatives, answer all the specific questions. Let us show you exactly what a cover can do for you and how you use your truck. So it's pretty exciting. How long has x -Tang been part of this event? Uh, this is our first year here. We've participated at the Truck Nationals a little bit in the past and uh, uh, decided to come on back and give it another try. So our first year and it's going well.